Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Thermodynamics 2 class for 2020 summer semester at the University of Texas at San Antonio. As the introduction, my name is Zainal Abidin. Currently, I am a manager at a powertrain engineering division, Southwest Research Institute. I think most of you uh, know this uh, Southwest Research Institute. I saw a couple uh, student uh, is doing uh, project work at Southwest Research. Uh, I'm at Division 3, so this is Powertrain Engineering Division. And my main research uh, work area is internal combustion engine. Uh, office hour, you know that all activity related to this class are conducted online. So if you want to have a discussion with me, you can uh, send an email uh, to make an appointment and we can have a discussion via Zoom or via phone call. And uh, this is my email address. Uh, I would prefer to get the email to my Southwest Research email address because I can check it anytime. And then uh, I have two phone numbers here. The first one is cell phone. The second one is uh, my dash phone at Southwest Research, but currently it is uh, forwarded to my cell phone as well. You can uh, call or leave a voice message 24 seven, and I'll try my best to reply uh, your call as soon as I can. Uh, for the grader, uh, our grader uh, in this uh, 2020 summer semester is Miss uh, Gabriela Pineda. So it is uh, her email address. And the current plan is to have uh, office hours every Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m. Uh, via Zoom. So I think either C or me will send a link for this Zoom invitation so that you can attend the discussion with her, especially for the upcoming homework. So uh, as I mentioned to you, this is an online class. So the time will be uh, Tuesday and Thursday from 6 p.m. to 7.55 p.m. So currently is to have a online class uh, via Zoom. And I will upload uh, the class material uh, to the Blackboard. And then I will also uh, make a video and it will be uploaded to the YouTube. I will send you the link for this YouTube so that you can watch the video. But in case you just want to uh, read the material without uh, hearing the uh, voice, so you can uh, also uh, look at this through the Blackboard. So. The material that I will upload in the Blackboard uh, is in a PDF file format. Uh, Zoom meeting information will be uploaded to the Blackboard. So I believe I already uploaded it. So you just need to click that link and then you can join the class at the uh, dedicated time. So this is my request. When you join the Zoom meeting, please write your full name that I know that uh, you joined the meeting and although for sure uh, in my class, I won't give any uh, point for the uh, attendant, but I encourage you to uh, regularly attend this class and give me a hard question and I will try my best to answer it. Uh, next one is syllabus. This is very important and I already uploaded this syllabus uh, to the Blackboard. Please read it through. So in this syllabus, you will find uh, uh, the topic that we will cover up to uh, the exam uh, rule, exam uh, grading, and then homework rule, homework policy. And then also you'll find the uh, penalty for uh, scholastic dishonesty. And then also, how can you pass this class with a good point? So you can find all of this in the syllabus. If you have any question, uh, let me know. 
Uh, next one is iClicker. So in this class, I will use iClicker for a polling and then quiz and uh, attendance once again, although I won't give any point for the uh, attendance. I encourage you to attend this class regularly and uh, be active and give me a question and I will do my best to answer your uh, question. And then uh, because uh, this class is conducted online and you can attend this class from any place you live. So I believe you need to use uh, iClicker type Reef. Okay, so you need to go to this website and then register this class. And the name of this class is ME4293 Thermodynamics 2 Summer 2020. And then you need to enter your UTSA ID. So this is ABC123. Uh, as the student ID uh, as well as the uh, the password and then uh, for uh, the grading in the pooling uh, this is what you will have so if you attend the polling and then you have a correct response then you will get two points and then if you join the polling and your answer is not correct then you will get only one point so the total point per question for polling will be three. Homework, homework question will be uploaded to the Blackboard. And then the submission will be a one week from the date of assignment. And I need to mention in here, no late submission, please. So no late submission without proof of technical difficulties. And then PDF file generation. So uh, if you don't have a scanner at home, don't worry. So I already uploaded uh, the way that you can use your cell phone as the scanner. So just follow the instruction and uh, ignore the last page of uh, that PDF. Uh, the last page contain uh, the way that we need to upload the PDF file to the grade scope, but in this class, I won't use a grid scope. So what you will need to do is you upload your work or your exam later to the Blackboard. Okay, so you won't use a grid scope in this case. Exam. So uh, exam, uh, if you look at on the syllabus, hopefully you get a chance to review in the syllabus. So uh, we'll have three exam. And 90% of the point from this class will be from exam. So we have exam one, exam two, exam three. Exam one will cover chapter seven and chapter eight. And then exam two will cover chapter nine, chapter 10, and chapter 11. And then exam three will cover the remaining of the chapter, which is chapter uh, 12 and chapter 13. So, uh, exam will be conducted through the blackboard okay so i will upload the question and you need to answer the final answer through the back through the blackboard directly and then i will give you a couple or several minutes to uh, scan the work containing a detailed solution to a pdf file and then upload it to the blackboard under dedicated folder. So the folder name uh, and the exact duration for file uploading will be determined later. And very important in here, I will use a proctorio during this exam only to monitor your physical and virtual activities. And I already uploaded the uh, PDF regarding this proctorio along with the privacy and so on, so that you don't need to worry about this uh, monitoring. So uh, read it through. If you have any question, you let me know. So with this Proctorio, you don't need to turn on the camera during the exam. Uh, Proctorio will be uh, the proctor for this exam. And uh, this one is not a software. This is only an extension to the Google Chrome. So you, ju you just need to turn on this extension during the exam only, okay? And you can find out more information in the website, uh, Google it, what is Proctorio and so on. What should you do and what should you avoid when you attend the exam with Proctorio, okay? So another thing is 
all recorded activity from Proctorio will be sent to me in encrypted file. So it means it won't be sent to Proctorio. It will be sent to me directly in encrypted file so that it is safe. It won't be shared to the other person. Okay. And then to enable this Proctorio, you need to have a webcam and a microphone. Okay. And I want to make sure that uh, we can uh, do exam with Proctorio well, so that I plan to have exam practice uh, before the actual exam. Okay. So once again, we will use Proctorio. So if if you disagree with this rule, I suggest you to take the class in in the next semester, in fall or next year spring semester, when it is planned to have face to face class. Okay. So I, once again, I have a PDF file. I upload it to the Blackboard. So uh, review it. If you have any question, let me know. Textbook, uh, we will use the same book as you use in uh, Thermo 1. Uh, it is uh, Fundamentals of Engineering Thermodynamics by uh, Moran, Sapiro, and then Putner and Bailey. Uh, I suggest you to use a uh, nine edition, but, but, if you don't get a chance to get this newest edition, it is also okay. You use uh, eight edition and even seven edition. I believe the main content of the books are the same, okay, are the same. But the only difference is sometimes they uh, put uh, an information within the chapter regarding the uh, contemporary problem or contemporary issue that is related to the uh, current situation. So once again, but if you don't get any chance to get the newest edition, uh, I'm okay. You use eight edition uh, or seven edition. And then the next one is uh, the appendix or table uh, from that uh, textbook. Okay, this is very important. You will use this in the exam and you are only allowed to use the table from this uh, textbook. Okay, don't use other table okay so from the table you can use the table starting from the fourth edition up up to the ninth edition they will be the same okay uh, to have exam and quiz uh, you need to for sure you need to have a table uh, because you will have this exam online i will upload the pdf file of this uh, table so that you can use it for the exam okay and then the second one, you need to use uh, the approved calculator. It is listed in the syllabus. So make sure that your calculator type match uh, the approved uh, listed uh, calculator in the syllabus. And number three, it's just used to, to have a pencil so that uh, it is easy to erase the uh, answer if you have a typo or you need to uh, update your uh, solution. Several suggestions for succeeding in this course. So first is I encourage you to attend in the class. The good thing is also I will have a quiz or polling in almost every uh, class meeting. So, so that if you attend the class, so you wouldn't miss uh, any of the polling or quiz. And second ones, I encourage you to read the material in the textbook. Although I will have a detailed presentation, uh, reading the material in the textbook will increase your understanding, will improve your understanding of the uh, uh, individual uh, chapter. And then number three, uh, try to solve homework assignment by yourself. So don't look at your friend uh, result, don't ask your friend, don't ask a uh, chick, on us, uh, Google, and so on. So try to solve it yourself. And then if you cannot solve it, try the second one, third one, and so on. If you get stuck, you can ask me. You can communicate with the grader. And uh, looking at the solution is the final option, OK? So try to solve it yourself. Try to understand what is the uh, problem statement, what is asked by the question, and what is the method to solve that. Okay, this is the introduction of this thermodynamic two class, and then we'll go into chapter one right after this introduction.